Today, on Drive Trainer, we will be demonstrating how to install a 6 or 8 volt power takeoff on a remanufactured Eaton transmission. When you are installing a new or used power takeoff on a remanufactured transmission, you must perform these steps in order to maintain your warranty. When you are reusing your existing power takeoff, you must disassemble, clean, and reseal the PTO. Inspect all parts and replace any damaged components. Remove the PTO cover plate from the transmission. The cover and gasket should be discarded. Rock the PTO driver gear inside of the transmission and the driver gear and the PTO assembly with your hand. This gives you a general idea of how much backlash will be needed when installing your PTO. Install the proper studs in the mounting surface for the PTO. Your application may call for more or less required studs. In this case, we are installing two studs in the transmission and installing bolts in the other holes. In the case of the holes being tapped through the transmission, you must have Loctite 290 applied to the studs. Ensure that the studs do not interfere with any internal parts. For six bolt applications, you must torque the studs down to 17 to 19 foot-pounds and eight bolt applications down to 19 to 21 foot-pounds. Do not over tighten the studs, as this may cause damage to the transmission. Place the correct number of needed non collapsible shims on the gasket surface. Do not use the quart gasket supplied with the PTO cover. You cannot use Permatex in between shims. This will lead to an improper backlash setting. Do not stack more than three shims together. At least one shim must be used when installing your PTO. Secure the PTO to the transmission studs using self-locking nuts. For six bolt applications, torque the locking nuts down to 35 to 40 foot-pounds and eight bolt applications down to 55 to 60 foot-pounds. The cap screws must be torqued to 30 to 35 foot-pounds for six bolt applications and 45 to 50 foot-pounds for eight bolt applications. To check for proper backlash, first remove the PTO shift housing and or inspection plate. Set up the dial indicator so it can read the movement of the drive gear in the PTO. Hold the drive gear inside of the transmission with a screwdriver or bar and rock the PTO input gear. Take note of the total movement on the dial indicator. The backlash must be set at 6 to 12 thousandths of an inch. This is critical to ensuring proper performance and maintaining your warranty. Replace the inspection cover and torque the cap screws down to 16 to 20 foot-pounds. Apply a drop of Loctite 290 to each screw when reinstalling. Fill your transmission with oil and inspect the PTO for leaks and noise. Come back and watch our other videos to ensure proper installation and maintenance of your drivetrain components.